Right you guys, got another video here for you. Now if you want to replace the standard task manager which you get built into Windows, i.e. Windows 10 here in this case, and you want to exchange that for, say for instance, Process Explorer, which is a much more powerful um, tool in my personal opinion than just this standard um, task manager. So if you want to do that, I'll show you how to do it in this video. You can also configure Process Explorer a lot more to do a lot more things, and it can also detect uh, viruses and uh, dodgy processes running in the background which I like as well so what you need to do is go over to the Microsoft website here and download their process explorer and uh, this is an awesome tool it really is and uh, if you really want to use something like this to take more control of your system then this is the video for you so let's go ahead and open this up what I'm going to do here is copy all these files and I need to put them into a folder here and I'm going to put mine into my C root directory here I'm just going to create a folder inside here called tools so make a folder called tools you can do it the way you want to do it but I'm just going to call this tools here now you can run the whole sys internals inside here if you wish uh, but I'm just going to quickly put in one here called tools so let me just quickly give that a capital letter there we go and I'm getting a bit of a delay here on my PC. I'm not sure what's going on with it due to building myself a new PC. So inside the Tools folder, we're going to make another folder. I'm going to call this Process Explorer. Now, of course, you can name yours whatever you like, uh, but I'm just going to name it this. And of course, if you've got a bunch of other programs you want to run from this location, you can do as well, i.e. the full sys internal suite which I advise you to do is pretty decent bit of kit. So all I need to do now is paste in all of these files. So I'm going to go over to here and copy all of these files and paste them into this folder we just created. There we go. And that's now inside there. And what we need to do now is open up Process Explorer. Once we've opened up Process Explorer, it'll look something like this. Now, of course, you can customize this and change it to your own needs. I'm just going to quickly go into here. And if you look up the top left hand side here, you'll see a bunch of um, tabs up the top. And that's where we need to concentrate here. And what we need to do is convert this over to our uh, Windows system. So what we need to do here is go to options. And you should see an area that says uh, replace task manager but you can also see check virus total I've already got that check marked here this means that we'll be able to check processes that are running on the system against their database so let's go ahead and replace task manager and there we go that's all done and now we've got process explorer in place of our task manager you can see here the virus total gives you a full list of all the processes that are running on your system and this is very useful for a quick quick indication that you've got a bad process that may be malware or something like that that's running on your system and I do like that feature now also under the options area here you've got a bunch of other settings which you can mess with and as you can see here under the um, now every time you make a change it will close down this uh, menu so go into the options area here and underneath the replace task manager you'll see a bunch of settings like hide when minimized and also uh, some other options which I'm going to enable because I want those enabled so you can see the ticks are there now only allow one uh, instance so I'm going to do that as well and this will give us those settings changed you see the little ticks next to them here okay so next up what I'm going to do here is go into uh, the view mode here and I'm going to select columns now inside the columns area you'll be able to select what you want to be shown on the screen here uh, and you can use whatever you like here uh, you can see process image and we've got process performances and basically you can change all this up to the way you like it now you can see here we've got CPU usage already ticked but you've got CPU history CPU time uh, they're very useful and uh, also You've got a bunch of other things on there like process timeline as well and uh, things like that so you've got a, a different bunch of things that you can tick on there and also if you want to 
use any other ones you can do so I'm just going to quickly do CPU history here next I'm going to go up to where it says process memory and you can see we've got a bunch of stuff in here that you can tick if you wish so if you want to put that in there you can do I'm going to put private bytes history inside here and you can put whatever you like inside here as well depending on what you want to set yours up as so let's move on to another one uh, which we've got here which is the process input output which is your IO and of course you can put in what you like here um, whether you want to set it up as reads and writes depends on what you want to set yours up as so again just go through all of these and set it up how you want to set yours up and I just want to do a process timeline there so I'm just going to click OK here and accept those and you can see now it's populated those all on the screen here and you can put these into the order that you wish them to be in it's entirely up to you how you have these arranged so let me just quickly go back in here and you can change the colors to whatever you want here for certain types of things that you want to have certain color schemes for and of course you can set this up how you like but if you want to show a lower pane so you can see the whole process tree here for the files for that process you can do just set this up and it'll show you all the files that's being used here like DLL files and stuff like that which is very useful now obviously this is not for the faint hearted this is much more for the advanced user who wants to take full control of their system and see what's going on it's great for malware analysis and stuff like that as well to find out uh, what's happening with your system but obviously just for your general computer use it's very useful uh, to have and I think with that added feature on there for virus total it's an added bonus to have that on there because it lets you find out what's going on with your system so I'm just going to quickly open up the select columns again and there's a few more things I just want to add in here as well before I finish this off and this gives me a bit more information about what's going on here so just let me put a couple of more ticks in here now obviously you can take more time I'm just quickly rushing through this just to show you basically how you can have this set up and you've also got the GPU here as well which you can monitor the GPU if you want to do that as well you can do and you can see there's a wealth of information on that screen now compared to what you would have with just the standard task manager now obviously uh, the task manager might look a little bit prettier uh, because it's been designed for Windows 10 but again uh, having a much more powerful tool something like this is for me a lot better uh, but it's entirely up to you to what you want to do but this is basically how you can get it all set up so all I need to do here is click OK here there we go that's all done so we're all set up and ready to go now so anytime you right click on the taskbar and open up task manager you're going to get this awesome program opening up instead of just your standard plain Jane uh, task manager as you can see here let me just show you and boom there we go very simple and easy to do but a very powerful tool and it also gives you all the information you can move these about and put them into the audio that you wish uh, to have these that's more important to you as you can see here very simple just drag and move them over as well yeah, very simple and easy to set up now of course this is only just one uh, program in the sys internal suite and there's a bunch of other tools in there that are very useful for helping you fix diagnose and troubleshoot problems with windows and uh, i like this program a lot i like it better than just your average task manager it gives you much more better control and also when you're dealing with other issues on the system this is a much more powerful tool to use than just your average uh, task manager so again, uh, if check out uh, the Sys internal suite. If you want to see more on this sort of stuff, then let me know in the comment section below. Now, if you want to revert back to the original uh, task manager, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. You just need to uh, go into the registry and make a minor change in there, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Anyway, I hope this one's been helpful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.